G'day and welcome to LPEP, the music quiz show where the comedian's handicap is their lack of music knowledge and the musician's handicap is the fact that they're musicians. With me, as always, team captains Adam Knox and Beck Russo. Adam's first guest tonight is a comedian currently living in a warehouse. Life in a warehouse is a lot like living in a normal house, except at the full moon, it transforms and kills a villager. It's comedian Alice Dare Trembley Birchall. Thank you. Born in England, Adam's second guest tonight moved to Melbourne not only to steal our jobs but also to steal our comedy awards. That is to say, in 2008, he won the Raw Comedy Competition. More recently, he toured Melbourne with his stand-up show Charmingly Useless. Only one of those adjectives properly describe him and we're going to find out which one tonight. It's comedian Neil Sinclair. <laughs> Beck's first guest tonight says that he likes to separate his live performances from his recorded material as it's always easier to create complex, smooth and flowing work in a recording. Isn't that right, Adam? That's right, Mike. It's Hayden Kalman. <laughs> Beck's second guest tonight is a singer-songwriter who moved to Melbourne from New York when she was two years old. New York taxi drivers are famous for their complex knowledge of the city's roads, so it must have been a shock for her to move here to Melbourne, where the taxi driver's knowledge of the city's roads consists of asking their passenger for directions, all of which is extremely relevant because she moved here when she was two years old. It's Ariella Jacobs! Alistair, pleasure to have you on the show. How are you going? I'm very well, thank you. How are you today? I'm doing very, very well. Thank you for asking. Nobody else asks. Oh, well. You're the first person. I care. A point just to start off for Adam's team. <laughs> just for caring. Good guy. What have you got going? What's, what's going on? Well, I have a comedy festival show coming up next year called Success Arms, which is uh, based off a bit where I do this. I, I have a lot of comedy bits. <laughs> but, uh, that's one of them. Uh, apparently, if you hold this for two minutes, right, uh, your brain releases chemicals that make you think that you're a successful person. Really? Yeah. How did you find? How did you find this? Out? I watched a TED talk, <laughs> <laughs> and where a guy watched a TED talk and he told me about it. Does that yeah. mean that a lot of hostages feel quite successful? They're, they're, like, <laughs> they're, like, yeah, they're like, I'm gonna get out of this. <laughs> yeah. Neil, pleasure to have you on the show. How are you going? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Ah, these guys. Oh, these guys are just. <laughs> Nailing it today. Ugh. Uh, you've got a comedy festival show for next year, don't you? Yes, I do. Yes. Have you uh, got a name as good as Success Arms? It's called How I Survived the 90s. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. How did you survive the 90s? Barely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, think I used to run nightclubs. And... That's true. You were a DJ at Pony for a little while. Yeah, but I was, was a DJ at Pony as well. No, no, no. Okay. That wasn't in the 90s. Okay. Um, that was in the 2000s. Okay, well, that's Inter next year. That's yeah, the year after how festival. I survived the noughties. Um, okay, so I was asked if I wanted to rob the club that I was running okay. at the time by the door staff. Okay. And I agreed to do it because I thought we were joking around. <laughs> like, hey, you know, you count the money. I'm like, yeah, I count the money. It's like, there must be a lot, like thousands. There's loads. And like, oh, yes, yeah. so someone came in, you got a black eye, took the money, you get five grand. I'm like, that would be awesome. Five grand? I'd like that. It's like, so we'll do it tonight. It's like, yeah, tonight. Brilliant. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> and uh, then they're like, oh, don't tell him we said it. I was like, no, never. You might get hurt. Ooh, I went back and nearly cried. <laughs> oh, my God, this is terrifying. Ariella, pleasure to have you here. How are you going? Good. Uh, you've got an EP coming out a little bit later this I year. I do. This is the first time that I've actually collaborated with a band and worked with... All my work is purely acoustic, mm -hmm. acoustic, and I kind of just wanted to see it evolve into a bigger production. Okay, so it's a, a full band. band now on the EP. Yeah. Fantastic. I've never had that, and it sounds really great. Uh, Hayden, fantastic to have you on the show. How are you going, man? I'm good. How are you? Ah! Oh, he's learned, he's learned, he's learned how to do it. No, I gotta do it. That's definitely a point. You've got an EP coming out a little bit later this year. Yes, very soon. Tell us a little bit about the EP, what's gone into it. So, done all at home in my bedroom. Um, and yeah, it's a little bit different, a little bit, yeah, a little bit different from my, uh, <laughs> from my first EP. What uh, do you mean? Oh, uh, well, just. Um, he's gone heavy metal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and going back to my roots. <laughs> Our first round tonight is Hits and Giggles. Each team will watch two artists' music videos and then pick one as the answer to my question. Beck, Hayden, Ariella, let's take a look at yours. 
That was the Voltaire twins with young adult and June rats with red light, green light. But which one of these artists had the idea that they could do away with expensive things like sets, costumes and locations by shooting an orgy in a studio? Beck, Hayden, Ariella, what do we know about the June rats and the Voltaire twins? I mean, the June rats are pretty uh, hip guys, aren't they? Doing a whole video pretty loose. smoking, yeah. yeah. Pretty loose. Pretty loose. I feel like the obvious answer is probably June Rats because they're yeah. like, you know, crazy dudes. Is it legal to film an orgy if you're twins? They're, are they not, are they they're not, not actually twins. twins. Oh, really? Oh, well, go nuts then. But <laughs> is it legal to <laughs> film the... That was the uh, only thing that was stopping them. Yeah. Apparently they're going out, so maybe it's a whole thing. Neither like... the June Rats nor the Voltaire twins were involved in the actual uh, orgy that happened. So. Also, for just for interest's sake, that would be called twincest. Uh, that's, uh, that's actually the official term. <laughs> Based the official decided by which body. Oh, it's, it's Latin. <laughs> <laughs> so the Romans decided. I'm going to press you guys for All an right. answer. Let's oh. just go with Gene Rats. Let's, Let's do it. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Voltaire twins that put out a call for open-minded people with no hang-ups, then painted them up, covered them in baby oil, and filmed the results. Neil, Adam, Alasdair, let's take a look at yours. All right. That was Olivia Newton-John with Physical and Our Lies with Night Swim, but which one of these two artists' grandfathers won the Nobel Prize in Physics for his research in quantum mechanics? <laughs> oh. I mean, obviously, Alistair, Neil, you guys are experts in quantum mechanics. It exists. The amount, the amount that I know about quantum mechanics can never be quantified because when you measure it, it changes. Ah. That is a great joke. Ah. There's one guy wearing a lab coat and some glasses with sellotape on them who was hacking himself. He's wearing it at home watching TV, obviously. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> what do we know about Olivia Newton-John? Okay. She was in Greece. Yep. Does yeah. that count? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's definitely useful information. It's the thing we know. Um, her, her husband, like, just disappeared? <laughs> did he? <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, he, like, on a boat or something, he just didn't was he, was come back. Was her husband Harold... No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, his name was Gilligan. <laughs> no, he, I don't know what happened. I think it was on a boat, wasn't it? I'm not sure, but I think he turned up later on. Yeah. Did like he? he turned yeah, up he like years later. It turned out he was just like trying to get away from her. Yeah. Did he turn up? Wow. Well, looking no, at that like video, I can see why. Yeah. She's, <laughs> she's mean. She goes, she tortures fat men. <laughs> Appa yeah. Apparently, it was a tax it was, reason. I think it was a tax reason he ran away. And I may be wrong. That seems like sure. a really poor reason to disappear. Yeah. Like, how much tax mm. can you possibly owe? to the ATO. Uh, ask Paul Hogan. <laughs> oh. All right, all right. Oh. Oh. Nice one. <laughs> yes, Thanks yes. very much. Ooh, we're on it. Oh, uh, what do we know about Allies or Brooke Adamo? He wears lipstick and watches hands <laughs> in his swimming pool. That's that what I know about him right not, now. That uh, was not Allies. That was an actor. <laughs> Allies oh. is a female. That's what I know about Allies. <laughs> <laughs> these are, these so, are all true facts. I, like, the Nobel Prize, I feel like it's probably been given out every year, but I feel like you hear about Nobel Prizes a lot more from the early 20th century. And yeah. it's, you know well, what I mean? Quantum mechanics is a kind of a new thing, isn't it? They only came up with no, it like recently. No it's, been since so. like, no, it's been around since like early 1900s. Right. Um, but wait, was it grandfather? Yes. Grandfather. Grandfather. Because I feel like, do you know what I mean when I say that the Nobel yeah. Prize was given out a lot more? Like it's but, I mean, we could be There's, saying that I mean, like, we could be judging, being quite ageist here. He may have come up with it when he was really old. So yeah, it could be quite recent, true. like the 90-year-old quantum physicist. Yeah. You hear about But, but them. most math mathematicians peak at about 23. Uh -huh. Really? Is that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that their prime number? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the Nobel Peace Prize won by uh, Obama was, mm -hmm. what, 2010? So you do hear mm. about Nobel Prizes yeah. more recently. Peace Prizes is more recently, but especially physicist He's pro, uh, physicist Nobel Prize. Physicist. Physic, physics, physicistic. <laughs> well, physical. Oh, physical. Maybe that's what this was about. Yeah. Physicist. Physicist. M maybe My the lyrics. Is a physicist. This is a stab in the dark. We can know as much as possible about music and have no idea. I'm going to go with Olivia Newton John yeah, because I'd be much more impressed. 
<laughs> really? really? Was. Yeah, because I don't know anything about alloys. So how can I be impressed? <laughs> Actually, that's where Newton comes from. Isaac Newton was her granddad. Um, yeah. We'll go with Olivia Newton. <laughs> 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 You're right. It was Olivia Newton-John's grandfather, Max Born, that won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1954. Olivia Newton-John's food philosophy is that what you eat goes in, and if it doesn't come out, it has to go somewhere else, which shows a disturbing lack of understanding of how the human digestive system functions. Uh, so after that round, we have Beck's team on three points and Adam's team just ahead on four points. All right. Awesome. Good work. Our next round is called Where's Wally? Gautier has sent in some of his holiday snaps while on vacation and teams must tell me where he's been. Adam, Neil, Alistair, let's take a look at yours. Uh, so, oh, there he is. So for Sal yeah, where is he in the photo? He's up the back. Yep. The, the horizon. <laughs> but the horizon where? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is Where's Wally? This this ah. Ah. <laughs> uh, what's what's in the foreground? This we'll stop, the we'll stop fucking about. This is this is this is on Mars. Yes. Yeah. But can that can the Martian rover actually shoot lasers like that? That's not a real photo. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. That's they, they actually have another robot taking photos of the Martian <laughs> rover. Yeah. You're right. It was on Mars. One point. Alistair, Neil, Adam. Very well done. Well done that was a tricky one. <laughs> Where are the lizards? All right, Hayden. <laughs> yes. Ariella. Beck, let's take a look at yours. Sure. So, for starters, where is Wally? Where's Wally? I can't glasses. see him yet. Oh, uh, no. No. I no. see him. Where is he? Where? Oh, there he is. Yeah. Um, I can't see him. He's in the makeup. He's in the makeup. I just say he looks terrifying in that picture. <laughs> like, that is, that is <laughs> horrific. It's this actually his plan to assassinate. Oh, who's the, who's yeah. the person in the front? That's the queen. That is the queen. Uh, where do we think this, this photo's been taken? I'm, I'm looking at the t-shirts of all these people that she's uh, chatting to, and I reckon the Olympics. I would when say was the Olympics? Olympics? This year or last year? The Olympics was last year. Last yeah. year, yeah. Well, and where was it? <laughs> uh, so that's in London, I reckon. Okay. You're right. Yeah. It was a London. <laughs> One point to Beck, Hayden and Ariella. Very well done. At the end of that round, we have Beck's team on a whopping four points, while Adam's team still leads with five points. Okay. Our next round is called Just Waiting for a Mate. Adam, Neil and Alistair must guess whether this fact belongs to Ariella, Hayden or Beck. Which one of our guests nicknamed their car Nana? Officer Tremblay Birchall, Officer Knox, Officer Sinclair, if you'd like to begin your interrogation. All right. We should hey. start by roughing him up. <laughs> so, Ariella, do you drive a car? <laughs> do I drive a car? Yes. Yes, I do. So Is it good? Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what kind of car? It's a Ford Falcon. A Ford Falcon. Uh, what year? Not a very nannery car. Is yeah, it? that's quite a. What do you say about that? I'd have called that car Rob. Or, <laughs> yeah. Rob? Gary the car. Trevor. Mm. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> It used to have a different name, it changed over Why the Why did years. you nickname it Nana? Because it just has a scent of like potpourri and soup. <laughs> okay, oh, that's, pretty, that's a really good answer. And it's just <laughs> actually a <laughs> I, I can believe that. Did I love, it, I love that the police <laughs> would be raising their <laughs> heads. It's like, did you kill him? No. Ooh, oh, you oh, killed oh, me there. Oh, 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 I didn't yeah. think you'd do that. You're all right, OJ. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> no, uh, honestly, it's just pretty old. What flavour right. soup? <laughs> Ooh, what flavor a different soup. flavor. Like a minestrone? <laughs> I think you're going to go the generic chicken soup. Yeah, ah, that's I like the fact that you think chicken's generic. <laughs> what does that say about you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to move on to the next person? Yeah, Let's Beck. take a look at Beck. Yeah. Um, is this your current car? No, it's, it's actually the car I had when I was learning to drive. It was a black car. And it's not actually Nana, it was actually Nana, 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 Nana. Oh, because Batman. Batman. Oh. It was a black car. Right. <laughs> and I called it Nana Nana and then I just showed it to Nana. Did it look like a Batmobile or was it just a black car? It was a boat. It was seriously the biggest car. It's like... It was a boat now, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Changing your story, man. <laughs> it's a big car. It was big like a... I called it... It was like a boat. But it sounds like your nickname for it was no. boat <laughs> rather than Nana. It was big, like a Batmobile. That's why I called it Like Nana the Nana, Nana boat. Why wouldn't you have just nicknamed it the Batmobile? Because if... that's, that's too mm. obvious. <laughs> Were you a big you Batman fan at the time? It's too long, yeah. Well, actually, my brother actually named it 
So your brother named it now. This is going to work. So he now your brother he... nicknamed your boat Batman. No, no, no. Batman. He associated it with Batman because he's a big comic fan. And then I started calling it Nana, 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 Nana. Okay, and then shortened it to Nana. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's also really yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to move on to the I next one? Yeah. Hayden. Yeah. Hayden. Adam. What type of car do you drive? Uh, it's an old Holden Commodore. And why did you nickname it Nana? Uh, well, my grandmother lost the right to drive, and <laughs> she gave me her car. And out of respect, I... Uh, you called it Nana. I called it Nana. Did your, did your friends make fun of you? <laughs> Not at all. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Last question for Hayden. Did, did your grandma have an accident in order to have her license removed? Well, yeah, she had to... She's uh, getting a bit forgetful, and she... Uh, a bit what? Sorry? <laughs> forgetful. <laughs> forgetful, yeah. Um, so she had to do a test again to try and keep her license because she loved that car. Right. Um, and so she went for it, and she just rode straight over a roundabout. Didn't go around. So she lost it. No, I think that's how you do it anyway. Yeah, yeah. 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 Alistair, <laughs> Neil, Adam, which one of our guests nicknamed their car... Nana. I don't think it's Hayden, because I think that's really mean to name your car <laughs> Nana yeah. after she's lost the right to drive. <laughs> but then he did display how mean he was by going, she was forgetful. <laughs> yeah. right? That's pretty mean. Uh, yeah, I feel like yeah. it might be Ariella, the, the soup thing. Chicken soup. Okay, Neil, are you happy with that? I'll go with that. Alistair, you, are you, you happy, happy with, with that? that or? Oh, I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm going to go with it, because All right. I support my team. Okay. So we're locking in Ariella. I, I think it's Ariella. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you like to reveal wh which one of you nicknamed your car Nana? Oh, <laughs> it was Hayden. Oh, yeah. One point to Hayden, <laughs> Beck and Ariella. <laughs> Very well done. Our next round is called Cash for Comment. Each team must describe an artist without using a song, album or other artist's name. Teams have 50 seconds. Alistair, you'll be describing for Neil and Adam. Your time starts now. All right, it's a super cool skateboard move. Uh, it's really Ollie. Hey. Ollie. No. Uh, it's Rolling like stones. the number of degrees in a circle. 360. 360. Boom! Oh. All right, you know when the guys used to have that big nail Urethra. there? And they would have, they have a big nail and then they would scoop up cocaine with it? Yeah. <laughs> Bump. And they go, like yeah, that. Snore. What would you call that? Cocaine nail. Uh, yeah. Scoop, shovel, okay. spade. Let's say you grind something, you grind something Mash. until it's a uh, small grind particles. Powder. Yeah. Powder finger. Yeah! Powder finger. yeah. <laughs> All right, it's a brand of cigarettes. And also what mountainous region? <laughs> what? Tw tw um, um, Marlborough. Uh, the Alps, Alpine, Alpine. Yes! Is that All a right. brand of cigarettes? Um, yes. Oh. Keep up. Oh. Uh, okay, it's like, you know that scene in The Jungle Book where it's the... Mowgli. Where it's the... Uh, the jungle. Uh, the, the child Pickering. Pickering. man and Orangutan. the... Orangutan. And the, uh, Mowgli. And the sort of like big dog, but, but it's not a dog. <laughs> bear, a bear, 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 um, grizzly bear. Uh, man, child. <laughs> Young what? boy. Man, child. Come, bear, come, come, bear, come. come. Cub. Uh, cub and bear, bear and boy and <laughs> boy and bear. Boy and bear. Yeah. Oh, boy and bear. Okay. Running out of time. Okay, tunnel. The opposite of death. Life. life. And end of life. The act of being. The act living of end. Living, yes. living, yes. End. living, living end. end. Living right. end. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so, Alistair, you got six points for that, which is very, very well done to these guys. Yeah. Round of applause. Yeah, well done. Six points. <laughs> All right, Hayden, you're describing for Ariella and Beck. Your time starts now. Okay, if you go to the gym, you tend to build them. Muscles? I don't. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, say you have red hair, you often refer to. Ginger. Yes. And then, safari, yes. ginger safari. Oh, good. Um, so you can paint, you can draw, it's all a form of. Art. Yes. Out and of then, living. Hey? Out of living? No. No, out of sleeping. No, uh, and then when you go to bed, you tend to. Out of sleeping. Uh, yeah, out of sleeping. Oh. Yes. Um, okay, little people. Uh, when you're probably under the age of 15 Kids. and say they're running into each other. Children. Yes. Children collide. Children collide. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, so you've got baked beans, uh, spaghetti, they all come in this thing. A tin? Yes. And then you cook them in a... Tin pan. Yes. And then... Orange. Tin pan orange. Yes. <laughs> you're running out of time. Uh, okay. They're up. They're apparently in the sky. New radicals. No. New, um, new people. They're... Pass. 
OK, let's <laughs> screw that one. Uh, and that one. Um, and that one. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> You're out of time. <laughs> so that is seven points for Hayden, Beck and Ariella, which means at the end of this round, uh, we've got Beck's team on 16 points and Adam's team just ahead on 17 oh. points. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Our last round is the budget round because we spent all of our money on legal aid for Neil. Uh, Adam's team, because you're in the lead, you will go first. Your time starts now. No more maybes. Your baby's got... Rabies. Rabies. Freak silver chair. I'm all out of love. Set me free? I'm, all out of, um, I'm so lost I'm so without, without you. So lost without you. All out of love, air supply. Oh. Are you old enough? Are you old enough? That's it, yeah. Are you old enough, yeah. you old enough? Yeah. Dragon? Let's go surfing now. Everybody's learning how. Come on a safari with me. Surfing right. safari, Beach, Beach Boys. Boys. I stepped on some moth wings. I think I nearly... I had Something... no effect on my legs. <laughs> <laughs> but knocked off that dust that helps them fly. Broke a wing, moth nah. wings, pond. Don't you want to be... Uh, oh, uh, my personality. personality. Personality, buy me a pony, yeah. spider bait. Uh, give me my money back, give me my money back. You, you bitch. You bitch. Song oh. for the dumped, Ben Folds 5. Hey now. Hey now! Don't dream, Don't dream it's, it's over. over. Don't dream it's over. Crowded house. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's not bad. That's uh, that's eight. <laughs> Beck, Ariella, Hayden, uh, you need eight to draw, nine to win. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. My heart is yearning, but Paris is burning. Paris is burning, Lady Hawk. Uh, well, you only need the light when it's burning low. You only need the sun yeah. when it starts yeah. to snow. When it starts to snow, let her go. Passenger, uh, it's true terror in the middle of the night. Give it in if it makes you feel better. So... Give it in if it makes you feel better. So... so hold on. <laughs> literally one word I need. So... <laughs> it's the name of the song. Leave. Um, stay. Come. <laughs> <laughs> so, surrender. No. so surrender. So surrender. Surrender ball past music. Yeah, yeah. But time has changed nothing at all. You're still the only one that... Oh, um... You're still the only one home. that feels like home. Feels like yes. home, yeah. Missy Higgins. Uh, one day you'll come back here for my help. That's the end of that line, really. Yep, what's the next line, Hayden? Uh, <laughs> someday you were asked to leave. Yep, couldn't it be easy for my help, Hayden Kalman? <laughs> Thank uh, you. The dogs were out howling, but they could not hear. Oliver whispers, you speak of my dear. Uncertainty, Ariella Jacobs, don't you worry now, it's all about to change. Don't you worry now, it's all about to change. Taking all that you want, you're taking all that I've got. Summer, well, Aidan Kalman. Well, that, that, that can be argued. Hey, <laughs> could be argued, I've got the card. Uh, times, <laughs> yeah, he's got the songwriting <laughs> friend. <laughs> times were getting rough, my friend, the year has come and gone. How do you even... Where did you find it? Because I listened to your song, Ariella. <laughs> he goes deep. Wait, Time was getting rough, my friend. The year has come and gone. Your mm -hmm. face... Um, is still, as I recall, an infinite young soul. Once, Ariella Jacobs! <laughs> At the end of our final round, we had Beck's team on 23 points and Adam's team just ahead on 24 oh. points. Very well done. Yay. A huge thank you to Hayden Kalman, Ariella Jacobs, Neil Sinclair and Alastair tremblay Virtual. You've been watching LPAP. I've been Mike O'Donoghue. Have a good one. Is this where we have that?